Royal Caribbean Drink Package Pros and Cons Have you been contemplating whether or not it would be a good idea to get a drink package on Royal Caribbean? Cruising is a popular vacation option for many people, and one of the main draws of a cruise is the ability to enjoy some much-needed indulgence. One convenient way to do this is by purchasing a drink package. However, before making the decision to purchase a drink package, it's important to consider the pros and cons. Today, we will help you determine whether any of the Royal Caribbean drink packages are worth the additional cost. Hey there! If you are new here, welcome to our channel. We provide vacation travel guides for the most adventurous regions around the world. In this video, we'll be reviewing the pros and cons of purchasing a drink package on a Royal Caribbean cruise. Before we begin, please hit those like and subscribe buttons below to help our channel grow. Guests on Royal Caribbean cruises can purchase a beverage package that includes an unlimited supply of drinks for a flat daily rate. Quench your thirst on board with a beverage package that gets you the best value on your favorite drinks. From Coca-Cola to fine wine, premium and frozen cocktails to a full selection of beers, fruit juices, and water. If you want to buy a drink package for your Royal Caribbean cruise, you can do so in two ways. Online using the cruise planner before you leave or in person on board. If booked on board, passengers will only be charged for the number of nights remaining in their trip. The beverage packages are honored at any of the Royal Caribbean's bars or lounges, Windjammer Cafe, main dining room, and private destinations during normal business hours. Any server or bartender can check the guest's C-Pass card or WOW band to see if they are entitled to the package's alcoholic beverage discounts. However, room service and in-room minibars are off-limits when using a beverage package. Royal Caribbean passengers who have sailed with a cruise line before know how to make the most of their beverage packages. But even first-timers can save money with a little effort. Before purchasing a drink package, you should have a general idea of how many alcoholic beverages you can and will consume each day of the trip. The Pros of a Royal Caribbean Drink Package 1. Pre-purchasing the drink package for bundle deals The Royal Caribbean Voyage Planner is a great tool for managing your cruise vacation and can be accessed once your booking is complete. One of the benefits of purchasing a drink package through this portal is the ability to do so in advance, which can sometimes result in discounts or special offers. Additionally, by using the Voyage Planner, you can also book shore excursions, make dining reservations, and purchase tickets for shows and other onboard activities. By bundling these items together, you may be able to save even more money on your cruise vacation. It's always a good idea to check for deals and promotions before making your purchase to ensure you're getting the best deal possible. 2. Drink packages are convenient. With a Royal Caribbean drink package, you don't have to worry about constantly searching for your wallet or keeping track of individual drink purchases. The package will be linked to your shipboard account and the bartenders will be able to see that you have it when they scan your card or wristband. It's worth noting that even though the package will display a zero balance, some bartenders may still require you to sign a slip for each purchase as a way to ensure the package is being used in compliance with the terms of service. 3. Drink packages include more than just alcohol. The drink packages offered by Royal Caribbean, such as the Deluxe Package, typically include a wide range of options beyond just alcoholic beverages. In addition to beer, wine, and cocktails, these packages also include non-alcoholic beverages such as carbonated drinks, freshly squeezed juices, and specialty coffees. Some packages also include a cup that can be used with a Coke Freestyle machines located on board. This can be a great option for those who prefer non-alcoholic drinks or for those who want to enjoy a variety of drinks throughout their cruise. One of the most significant perks of the package is the inclusion of bottled water, 
which can be especially convenient for staying hydrated during your voyage. Additionally, the package may also come with other perks such as discounts on certain drinks or priority seating at certain venues on the ship. 4. They work on Royal Caribbean's private islands The drink packages offered by Royal Caribbean can also be used on the cruise line's private islands such as Coco Key and Labadee. This means that if your cruise itinerary includes a visit to one of these islands, you can use your drink package to purchase alcoholic beverages while on the island without having to pay extra. This can be a great option for those who want to enjoy a drink while relaxing on the beach or taking part in the island's activities. You can also find the well-known Labadoozy or Coco Loco frozen cocktails included in the drink package, but be sure to ask for the beverage to be served in a cup that is not a keepsake. 5. Not everyone in your room needs to purchase a drink package. Another advantage of Royal Caribbean's drink package is that it can be purchased on an individual basis, which means that not everyone in the stateroom needs to purchase a package to access the included alcoholic beverages. This can be a great option for couples or groups traveling together who have different drinking styles or preferences. It's important to note that Royal Caribbean has a policy in place that prohibits individuals from sharing beverage packages. This means that each person must purchase their own package and cannot share it with others. This policy applies to all guests of legal drinking age. This flexibility is ideal for couples or groups traveling together who have different drinking styles or preferences. It allows each person to choose the package that best suits their needs and budget without feeling pressured to purchase a package they may not want or need. 6. An alcoholic drink package will probably save you money. Purchasing a Royal Caribbean drink package may save you money, depending on your drinking habits and the package you choose. Drink packages offer a set price for a certain amount of drinks or a certain type of drinks, which can be more cost-effective than paying for each drink individually. For example, if you plan to enjoy a variety of drinks throughout your cruise and anticipate spending a significant amount on alcohol, a drink package may save you money in the long run. It's important to keep in mind that the cost of a package will vary depending on the package and length of your cruise. Additionally, the cost of individual drinks can also vary depending on the type of drink and the venue. Therefore, it's a good idea to do some research and compare the cost of a package to the cost of individual drinks to determine if a package will save you money. The Cons of the Royal Caribbean Drink Package 1. There is only one alcoholic drink package option available. Royal Caribbean has recently updated its program for purchasing alcoholic drink packages. They used to offer three distinct bundles, but now they only provide one choice for customers to choose from. The price per night of the deluxe beverage package varies from ship to ship and sailing to sailing. Royal Caribbean seems to employ a variable pricing model that considers time of the year, ship class, and other factors in offering the price of the drink package. If purchased prior to your cruise on the Cruise Planner site, the deluxe beverage package often costs between $48 to $79 per guest per night, not including gratuity. The price will be higher if purchased on board, usually between $63 to $89 per guest per night. Considering that the prices on board for beer and other non-alcoholic beverages are significantly cheaper than those for alcoholic beverages like cocktails, so this package may not be the best option for those who primarily drink beer. 2. Not all alcoholic beverages are included. Even if the list of included items is rather large, the price of certain beverages is not included in the bundle. Royal Caribbean International has just this year implemented brand new menus aboard their ships, which now offer signature drink options. These drinks are not included in the allowance for drinks that come with a drink package, which costs $12 on most ships and $13 on Oasis class ships. This indicates that you will be responsible for paying the beverage price differential. Additionally, Bottles of alcoholic beverages, souvenir drink cups, and other unique drink promotions such as a bucket of beer are not included in this coverage. 
It's always a good idea to familiarize yourself with the package's terms and conditions and the prices of individual drinks to determine if the package is cost-effective for you. Three, you can only get one drink at a time. The drink package only allows you to order one beverage at a time, regardless of whether it contains alcohol or not. This means that if you want to order a drink for yourself and another person, you will need to use two separate credit cards or cash to pay for them. It's worth noting that if you're traveling with a companion and want to order drinks for both of you, it would be wise to bring both your credit cards to the bar so you can swipe them both to pay for the drinks. It's also worth noting that if you want to order a non-alcoholic drink such as a bottle of water or a glass of soda, you will need to use a different credit card or cash to pay for it. It's important to keep in mind that while this is a drawback of the package, it's a common policy among cruise lines, so it's a good idea to be prepared and plan ahead. 4. You must purchase a drink package for the entire length of your cruise. You are required to purchase a drink package for the full duration of the cruise, which can run quite a bit more money than you had anticipated. This means that even if you don't plan on drinking that much, or if your itinerary includes a lot of port stops where you will not be spending much time on the ship, you will still need to pay for the full package. You can purchase the package a few days into the cruise and pay solely for the remaining days of the trip. But the cruise line does not permit you to pick and choose which days you want to purchase the package. In addition, there is no option for a refund once the item has been paid for. This means that if you decide not to use the package or if you're unable to use it for any reason, you will not be able to get a refund. It's important to keep in mind that these are the terms and conditions of the package. So it's a good idea to carefully consider your drinking habits and the itinerary of your cruise before deciding on a drink package. In conclusion, you will need to decide whether or not to purchase a drink package from Royal Caribbean for your upcoming trip after considering all of the benefits and drawbacks of purchasing such a package. If you have been on a Royal Caribbean cruise recently and purchased the new deluxe drink package, please let us know in the comments section below whether or not you found it to be beneficial. If you enjoyed the video and you want to watch more videos like this, show your support by hitting those like and subscribe buttons below. Also, feel free to leave a comment if you have any recommendations for future videos. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and stay tuned for more soon.